guys, welcome to Local Break, where we break away from your usual breaking news to bring you some of SA's latest and biggest entertainment and lifestyle news. Let's get into it. We start off on a bittersweet note. Actor, model and TV presenter Amanda DuPont is now a married woman. This was revealed by Amanda herself when she shared an Instagram post with a heartfelt message about the passing of her grandmother earlier this week. In the post, Amanda wrote in part, she promised to wait until I was married before she passed. Over the last couple of years, she would hint that she was getting tired. I'm married granny and I'm okay. Hope you are too. Close quote. That is so beautiful. And we all know how important grandparents are. Amanda got engaged to her by Sean Rodriguez in the Maldives in July 2018. And honestly, we have to say, they are couple goals. Congratulations, Amanda, and condolences to you and your family. Congratulations are also in order for media personality Paul Modiadie, who is expecting her first bundle of joy. And as much as this is good news, the way in which it came out was not so good. The news of Paul's pregnancy was apparently leaked to the media by members of her own PR team. Apparently, the reports about her being six months pregnant were inaccurate. According to media reports, Paul's PR person confirmed that she was indeed expecting her first child and that she and her partner were thrilled to be first-time parents. Now, we are not sure who her Prince Charming is. However, she opened up a bit about the relationship last year during an IG Live. The mom-to-be has chosen to keep the final details of her pregnancy a secret as she should be able to. This was none of our business in the first place. Anyway, congrats Pearl. There's no doubt you will be one fine mama. Now moving on from good news to a mess. Social media users were not impressed with Sunday's episode of the popular reality show We Are Jola 99. The show received backlash and was even labelled as selling criminality as entertainment due to the amount of violence seen in the recent episode and some older ones. Now for those of you who don't know what the show is about, here's a quick summary. Have you guys watched the American show Cheaters where one hires detectives to follow their partner who might be cheating and then they are caught and all hell breaks loose? Well, Oya Chola 99 is the same concept just with a South African flair. So, the claims of violence were due to the fact that the host and rapper Joop Joop caught a few blows himself from participants and the show's bouncers were accused of being too touchy with some participants. Some viewers were left entertained, but many were not impressed. Twitter user at oh, that one said, Oya Jola is getting too violent nowadays. And another at Moteo 2009 tweeted, Joop Joop is violating other people's rights to make Oya Jola 99. There's harassment, intimidation, invasion of privacy, defamation of character. He behaves like a typical jailbird. D Yo. And of course, Joop Joop had a few words for the haters. Yes, I would hear. Nafatuza <laughs> 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 The Mojo Love channel came out saying that the security on the show were trained professionals who in that particular episode were managing a situation to prevent it from escalating further. Anyway, some of you might be a little young to know the star, but anyway, Zambia has changed his stage name. If you don't know who that is, please go listen to Cortez. You dance to the song at Groove. The form of quite a child star from the 90s and early 2000s has changed his name to Zikote, which is his clan name. But it's spelled Z with a double E, not I. So even I can become a rapper. Fans got a taste of Zikote's music this past Friday when he performed his new single, 
I don't know if this is pronounced dot 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 tot 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 or whatever during DJ Cleo's set on the lockdown house party on channel O. The single was also produced by DJ Cleo. Now, while speaking to the media, Zukote said, open quote, I'm a family man and my son should identify with our surname Zwane and my clan name Zukote, close quote. Now, if you're a fan, you can follow him on Instagram at real insert clan name. And lastly, you guys showed your bravery this week when the hashtag salt and vinegar started. Yo, you guys, Mara. Sometimes I feel like South Africans are really into dying. But anyway, the flavor isn't back in our favorite bags of chips. Instead, some social media users came through with the answers to witchcraft. Apparently, if you want to see who is bewitching you live in 3D, all you have to do is put a plate or cup filled with a mixture of coarse salt and some brown vinegar under your bed at night and you will see it all. You know what? Guys, our timelines and feeds were filled with people's own accounts of what happened to them when they tried this. But some say it is not for the faint-hearted. You must be strong emotionally and physically in case you see your co-worker or your neighbor or worse, your own mom. Many were left spooked and for some it was just pure amusement that you will die. Take a look. In the words of our captain Sia Colisi, this nation needs to be rebuked and churches are opening on Sunday anyway. <sighs> May God bless South Africa and all of her people. We'll be back next week guys. Bye!